Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my fragrance shop, man. It's been, like, not a lot of time. Are you ready to buy another fragrance already? Yeah. Alright. Well. What type of fragrance are you looking for this time? I know last time you picked up Tarathi Blue, right? Yeah. And that one's more of like a citrus scent, yeah. So you're looking for like a manly, a manly thing, like put together, formal, formal, formal scent. Okay, yeah, I can, I can do something about that. Um, okay. And yeah, yeah, I wear the same shirt every day. Well, it's the same shirt, but I have five different, like five of the same shirt. So it looks the same, but it's like a different shirt. I just like, you know, having everything together. So yeah, you're looking for like a, a put together masculine, masculine scent. Yeah, I can pull two things for you. Um, I have two things in mind, yeah. They're gonna be like slightly different styles, um, but still fit in that same like put together masculine smell. So let me get you the first one. Now, don't let the bottle deceive you. I know it's a little bit sus, I know it's a little bit sus. Um, this is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Mala Parfum. And this is a 125 milliliter. And this scent right here, as you can see, it's like a, a guy in like a black, like put together, like, it looks like the bottle. It's like a warm iris um, as vanilla. Um, do you know what iris smells like? Well, Iris is prominent in this one, and then decently prominent in the other fragrance I'm getting you. Um, but yeah, Iris is typically for more put-together, um, formal scent. It's like um, a makeup bag, like lipsticky smell, sort of. Um, it sounds feminine, but it's really not. Parfum. This one's gonna run you $150, so it's pretty pricey. But a lot of people say it's worth it. This is a lot of people's um, top fragrances. I really like this one. Um, it's great. I own this one myself. Yeah. And this one lasts um, around eight hours. Um, so it'll be it'll be lasting you a good amount of time. You wanna get sniff of the cap. It's kind of hard to smell from here because it doesn't really have like a cap. Okay, I'll just spray it. Mm. Okay, you get a lot of iris. Yeah, the cardamom. Yeah. Um, wow, you've stepped up your knowledge. You know notes. Yeah, the top note is cardamom. It has some iris in the middle and then it has a lot of vanilla in the, um, in the base. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty versatile. You can wear it pretty much any season. Um, maybe not summer. You can wear it summer nights. I wouldn't necessarily wear it in a summer day, but if that's your style, go for it, bro. Um, but yeah, that's a great scent, honestly. I'm a big fan. So yeah, that's the first one. Um, how you liking it so far? You like it a lot, but you still want to try the other one just to make sure I got you. Okay, so this next one is Ralph's Club Eau de Parfum, and it has a really cool top. Um, the bottle is dope. This is a 100 milliliter bottle, and it'll cost you about $110. So again, kind of pricey, but this one's definitely way more versatile, a lot more of like an everyday scent, um, a little bit fresher. Take it back on the vanilla and the iris, um, but still very good. I love this scent so much. This has got to be one of my favorite scents. I'm not sure why, because when I smell it, it like isn't like sweet or like anything like spicy. It's just like put together. I don't even know how to describe it. 
It's a little bit green, um, and the bottle is just insane. Um, really dope bottle for sure. This one's gonna last you around six to eight hours, so slightly less than um, La Mala Parfum. But this one you could honestly get away with wearing um, every day, any season, all the time. Um, this one's definitely a little bit more similar to your Taraki Blue than um, La Mala Parfum is, but they're both great picks. Sniff the cap. Wow, from the cap, it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You love it. Um, I'm gonna give you a spray in the air anyway, just so you can, you know, see if you like it still. Mmm, that's just delicious. It doesn't smell like a food, but it's still delicious. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Really good. You're having trouble deciding. I'm telling you, man, it's a rabbit hole. You just want all of them. <laughs> So what do you think in between the two? Still can't decide. Personally, I would just go with both of them. Um, I can give you a buy one, get one 50% off. Um, so this one would end up being still 150, but this one will only be 55. So you end up paying um, 250 or 205 for both of these. I mean, honestly, just they're they're both the same kind of genre, but different artists. You could, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out a way to compare these two. They're both great scents. Um, I was gonna stop, I'm just gonna stop trying to convince you and I'll let you make your own decision. You're gonna get both of them. Great choice, man. Um, I'm gonna slide you these, and you're already on our email list and phone number list from last time, or text list from last time. So I'm just gonna slide you that. I'm gonna take your credit card. Um, declined. I, um, I'm gonna need a different one. Oh, okay, that one went there. All right, yeah. Have an amazing day. Enjoy your new fragrances. I hope to see you soon. Um, so yeah, peace out.